Will AI make us fragile meat bags obsolete? Elon Musk has the answers on today's Musk <laughs> When experts make a claim, you better know Elon Musk is right behind them Literally to put them right in their place them. and lay down some real truths. A recent survey of experts extrapolated that AI will be able to surpass humans by the year 2060. But they forgot to ask the most important person. Elon Musk weighed in in a tweet that it would, quote, probably be closer to 2030 or 2040, IMO 2060 would be <laughs> a linear extrapolation, but progress is exponential. I love that duh. he wrote in all the laughter. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you oh, see, oh, you, you made duh. quite a blunder. You dumb nerds. So we only have a few years left of being uh, important on the planet. I would call it top dog a la DMX, roo, roo, roo. Now, an interesting aspect of the study is that it said that AI will surpass humans at all tasks, but will AI be better than humans at feeling the desire for love and companionship from a daddy? Why do you keep saying humans? For what, what are you talking are about? Are you a robot? Blorp, no I'm not, beep boop. Elon Musk says they will by 2030. Yeah, so that's it's not the end of the world. Now let's pump the brakes, skirt, skirt, because we've got a story about speed bumps. A Spanish company called <clears throat> Barinova has developed a speed bump that will only affect your car if you drive over it too quickly. It works by utilizing a non-Newtonian liquid that changes viscosity depending on how quickly force is applied, kind of like Silly Putty that stretches out if you pull it slowly but breaks if you pull it too quickly. Because force equals mass times acceleration, if the car travels over the bumps faster, more force is transferred to the bumps than if the car was traveling at a much more reasonable speed, and so you will feel a physics slam. Now, I think what Kyle's trying to say with his physics slam analogy is that they go bump bump when you go vroom vroom. Thanks for that critical footnote, Dan. You're welcome, Kyle. Now, as you know, Papa Musk always taught us to recycle. And now it seems SpaceX, the company, not the man, is practicing what he preaches. SpaceX relaunched a Dragon, which was previously launched in September 2014, to send supplies to the International Space Station. Now, it makes sense that Elon would use a Dragon, since they do, in fact, already fly, and they have the strength to carry about 6,000 pounds of supplies on their way to the ISS and their great leathery wings. Plus, they can shoot wait, fire out wait, of their wait, mouths. Wait, 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 wait. It's not an actual dragon, and where did you get 6,000 pounds for a dragon figure? <laughs> Look, this is standard dragon math. Maybe if you did some light Googling no, 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 instead no, of no. some it's, deep it's, binging. It's, it's a spacecraft called a dragon. Oh, well, whatever. But wouldn't dragons in space, like, be sick as hell, though? Oh, yeah! And this is the story we've all been waiting for. We finally got a glimpse of the Tesla Model Y during the Tesla shareholder meeting. Let's check it out. Ooh. Well, that certainly is just a glimpse, but we've noticed something. There are no mirrors on this thing. That's because Elon likes to look to the future. Why would he need mirrors to look behind him? That's where the past goes. Or could it be because we've grown beyond the need for mirrors and cameras will directly project what's going on behind you directly into your optic nerve? Well, I can't technically say that you're wrong, Dan, because oh, all that we know about the Model Y so far is that it's an electric crossover that is smaller than the Model X, and it will have the least wiring of all the Teslas, and it will be built on a new vehicle platform, and it, yeah. That's I, all we know. Your last, I'm, I'm your last point in particular, I agree with the most. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. Well, we also know that when you line up all the models together, it spells S3XY which anyone who's played Counter-Strike knows means sexy. Which is a joke. Okay, now before we go, it's time for your must-see moment of the week. Oh, 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 must-see oh, moment oh, of the week, oh, switching oh, hands. Oh, ah. Guitar sound. Elon Musk has finally shined a light on a nefarious conspiracy that reaches quite possibly all the way to the top. All the way to the top. When asked on Twitter if he wears boxers or briefs, Elon answered, quote, wearing anything at all is just a conspiracy by the capitalists running dogs of big underpants. My uh, God, does this mean that Papa Elon is free balling it right now? Yeah, he might actually, in fact, at this very moment, be free balling it. My God. And if he is, Dan, if there's nothing constricting his musk nuts, <laughs> then he probably has a great sperm count. Uh, it's about 100, roughly. It's not 10, it's not 1,000. Most likely a hundred. Which means that he could easily sire a lot more sons, and then we'd be 
obsolete. Elon, I say this as your prospective son. Okay, be you careful. You need to make like Khaleesi on Game of Thrones. Be careful with this. And put the dragon back in the cave. Okay. Dad. I think we're legally fine. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Musk Watch. We will say bye now. Bye, bye now. Oh, I thought you were being literal. Thank you so much for watching Musk Watch. Your continued support has been noted in our extensive log. They're, ex they're extensive. Make sure to tweet us your best musky stories at SciFile, at Dan Casey, and at Nerdist with the hashtag MuskWatch! Keyboards. Keyboards! Now, I got the pills.